Hello my dear students. Welcome back to my channel Biology with Chinook. And today we are going to talk about solenoid model of DNA packaging. What is this? Let's discuss. We know that the total number of DNA that are present inside our body is more than 1000 trillion. Not only that, if we stretch out a single strand of DNA, it would be more than 2 meters. It would be more than the average height of a human. But the size of cell nucleus is just 10 to the power minus 5 meter. The cell nucleus is 10 to the power minus 5 meter in diameter. To fit inside this microscopic cell nucleus, the DNA strand needs to be condensed or packaged. So, DNA condensation or DNA packaging is very 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 important. First of all, DNA is wrapped around specific proteins to form chromatin. So, the condensation of DNA starts when each DNA strand is wrapped around histone proteins and form chromatin. Under the electron microscope, this structure appears as bids on string structure. The bids are the basic repeating units of chromatin and these are called nucleosomes. A single nucleosome consists of histone octamer around which 147 base pair segment of DNA is owned about 1.65 times, a little less than the complete two terms of DNA around histone octamer. Total 8 histone proteins form histone octamer. The histone octamer contains two copies of each of four histone proteins H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. The nucleosomes are connected by strands of linker DNA and forms the bits on string structure of chromatin. So, the chromatin is the condensed form of DNA. But this condensation is still not sufficient for DNA to fit perfectly inside the microscopic cell nucleus. Further condensation is necessary. In this case, the bits on string structure of chromatin in turn coils into a 30 nanometer diameter fiber that packs the nucleosomes very tightly and brings them close together. This 30 nanometer fiber is called solenoid structure of chromatin. This solenoid structure of chromatin is a model for the structure of this 30 nanometer fiber. And this 30 nanometer solenoid has 6 nucleosomes per turn of the solenoid. So, this structure is more condensed than the bits on string structure of chromatin. This next level of chromatin condensation is brought about by histone H1 protein. This H1 histone protein binds to the linker DNA at one end of the nucleosome and to the middle of the DNA segment wrapped around histone octamer. This H1 histone protein is needed to stabilize this more condensed form of chromatin. But again, this condensed form of chromatin is still not enough. Further condensation is necessary. The ultimate goal is to make most condensed form of DNA in the process of DNA packaging. The most condensed form is chromosome. Where and how chromosomes are formed? We will talk about this later. Till then, bye-bye students, take care and thanks for watching my video.